Hey guys, guess what? I'm still on the wall watching for you. And we just hit a KP6 geomagnetic storm. Which means the coronal hole that had turned from Earth days ago. The fast solar wind spewing out of it is hitting our magnetic shield and lighting up the top and bottom of planet Earth. And coincidentally enough, during my extra day Thor News fundraiser, we have a wild storm going on the day before Election Day. So, when the sun acts weird, the earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird. And everybody's extra emotional. And this geomagnetic storm is only going to make everybody extra, extra emotional. So go ahead and pop your shields, put on a smile, smoke them if you got them, and let's be ready. Because, I don't know if the seriousness of today's storm, although it's been covered as serious, has been covered serious enough. Because you have two elements, main elements, boom, popping in, boom, popping in. And the models had not had them hooking up as a super Quetzalcoatl Voltron monster storm. It had them kind of splitting like the last storm did. Well, now that we are in it to win it and the shit is happening and you have a geomagnetic storm to boot um, our upper atmosphere is getting extra charged 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 particles so we the earthlings of earth are the bullfighter we got all this energy coming in and it'll be wet and it'll be windy and then it'll go boom here and then head out east here, let me give you a graphic to help show you what I'm talking about. Okay, see here? These two giant chunks are about to hook up and create a big storm. That is my theory thesis. Uh, it almost looks like a dinosaur with a chef's hat about to eat up. Little shop of horrors plant. Or maybe he's just talking to it. Who knows? Anyway, you got two giant pieces of atmospheric energy filled with water and wind coming your way if you're in this part of the world. And so, as the video I admitted earlier on the weather was saying, then you got the next storm wave behind it, and then I'm pretty sure there's one out here. So, lucky for y'all, you're getting more bang for your buck out of Thor News today and this week. Because I got a feeling it's going to be a wild week. I could be wrong. Be sure and come back a week from now and say, you know what? Your hunch was proven to be false. Because it wasn't a wild week. It was a very normal American week. Especially when it came to weather. Look at that giant system. Europe. UK, everybody over in the pond, you guys watch out. Looks like a giant snake with a jello head. And then over here you got a dragon. It's like half ice, half rain. Then you got a serpent like Quetzalcoatl with little wings over here. And so, look at all this. Anyway, this will be the next system dumping down. And then this one is the one that could be playing hopscotch over the west coast. I'll have to to continue to watch. Hey, South America. How are you doing? There's crazy shit going on down here, too. That is wild. There's a lot of... That looks like a... I don't know, okay. I would say this. Then I would say that. But now I'm just going to say, yeah, well, so we will be watching the storm. And it, I would ramp it up. And if you are in any of the areas, 
heed your tornado watches because it's going to be a tornado -y day. And then we got another storm behind it. See the red? The red is the real dangerous zones. And then you're going to get some pop-up surprise danger zones. So today is going to be a stormy day. It was stormy before we were getting the well-timed geomagnetic storm, which, by the way, have apparently caused a red arc over Finland. You've heard of auroras, dash dash, green and purple lights that dance in the sky during geomagnetic storms. But have you ever heard of SAR? Yeah, dude, isn't that that like thing that was in the air in China? And so everybody had to wear masks forever. Well, that and the pollution there is really bad, I've heard. And so, shit, maybe that's where SARS comes from. That joke did not go as well as I wanted it to. Stable auroral red arcs. Stupid me. Pollution is never funny. Were discovered in 1956 at the beginning of the space age and have been recorded by cameras on satellites hundreds of times since. Most Aurora watchers have never seen one. Though, comma, because they are usually invisible to the human eye. Last night in southern Finland, Matti Henlin saw one. That is wonderful. With my naked eyes, I saw the fall and rain coming down on you. So yeah, this storm is going to be extra chunky and extra funky. And this little map here says over the next five days, the most amount of rain you're going to get is about three inches. And oh, I bet that is totally not right. I think these two chunks are going to hook up, do some damage. We're going to kick on over to Windy and check it out. Because that's what we do. Check it out. Plus, I wanted to look at the water vapor. Bear with me. Thanks. Look at these shapes. They're crazy. Lots of T's everywhere. Or mushrooms. But that's water vapor. And the whitier stuff is wettier stuff. So look what's going on here. I mean, see how you're getting a giant U of water vapor. See how it's like about to U up here? See what's going on? Actually, it's a different color. It's a lot of water vapor in play, man. That's all I'm trying to say. It's big, but the U has me concerned. That's what I'm saying. With that chunk. And then it's weird how it goes into the layers of the atmosphere. So we go up one layer and then come back down in another. Here is another example. This is lower atmosphere moisture, I believe. All right. So try and find a good color for you. So that you got this chunk here. That's pretty chunky. And it's weird how right over here off California it adds a bunch. And there was an earthquake swarm on the 2nd of November. Anyway, so that's all moisture, man. And this is moisture. Ma'am. And then here's where the hurricanes all happen and either go west or like punch back into up into America. See how it's creating like a U? This is a situation. So that's one storm and then there's our next storm. And then it's like, like I said, it's going to be like a storm a day. And it looks like Monday storm. It's going to be a doozy. So please be prepared. And it's going to be definitely be a weather awareness day. But we got to watch if this, I mean, that's just, as I've been pointing out in video after video, that's just streaming out moisture, man, nonstop from about here. As Mother Nature goes through a lot of internal processes, I would imagine. Wow, look at it. 
Whoa. Did you see that? Man, there's a lot of moisture letting going on. No wonder I'm so heavily censored. We don't even really get any South American news. That looked like a whole lot of flooding, though. A lot of glitches, bitches, and witches. Some good, some bad, some indifferent. But yep, smoke if you got them. And I will stay on top of this weather situation. I mean, put that yeah look what that that was that's a pretty high right here that storm watch it it's right about here watch how it right there that was a pretty heavy storm and mother nature has a tendency to repeat its patterns Okay, look how that, that is wild. Okay, let me do this real fast. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that is. It's almost like a new equator. And that's been the pattern we were watching almost. It's gonna, it seems to continue to do that. That is just, whoa, bro. That is why. Okay. Everybody stay cool. Be cool. And I'll keep you posted. If you would like to donate or contribute to keeping more news on the air, continuing to bring you the awesomeness up to date, you can make a contribution or donation by PayPal link in the information box. Stay cool.